Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm sitting in Lexus IS 250. It's a 2008 model, as you can see here. And uh, I'm back with the part two of our scanner tool video. So today we are going to test this on this car because I know there are some codes on this car because when I put the car in ignition, you can see that some lights are going on so it's only the battery tpms airbag also goes after some time so battery will also go whenever i'll start the car but uh, the tpms light or it says check system light it remains there so i think that there is something that we can check so let's keep the car in ignition and plug in our obd port okay so this is connected now now i'll go it has two options one is setup one is menu i'll go to menu by clicking enter and then diagnostics i'll go to diagnostics okay so if there is any previous data should i erase yes erase it and start with the bot new one okay so there are eight codes found okay read codes store codes okay p305 there is a misfire and then p0014 and then this this and then we have some impending codes as well so these are the eight codes that are found these are the same as store codes so the other thing we can do with this tool is that once we got the codes let's suppose we got no codes here and then we found a code in any other car or my friend told me that he got that code in her in his uh, car so what i can do is i'll go back okay and then dtc lookup so if i see that i got this p and now i'm going here and then how do you change with this i think yeah so i got p uh zero oh, oh that was p zero four two zero okay so it will tell me that this code is regarding catalyst system efficiency below threshold back one bank one so you can also find the codes like this that if you know the code and you don't know what does that code mean so you can find that on this tool here it's not a very good tool it's obviously a cheaper one so the quality is not as good as it should be but with this diagnostic tool you can actually reset the codes you can remove erase the codes and uh, let's uh, let's see we have this option of erasing the code so we will just erase the codes codes are erased again read codes nothing what i will do here is i will shut the car off okay i'll remove the obd okay and then I'll plug it back in if I can find the slot. Okay, so I have plugged that in and now I'll go back to ignition and now I'll scan it again and check if I have any codes again. Okay, it is my previous letter, no codes no codes are found so this is actually impossible that if your car has a code and then you reset the codes and now you don't have codes again so it's actually impossible so in this regard i think this tool is useless but uh, at the first stance it can tell you the code so you can just take care of them after with the mechanic or if you are a mechanic so you can take care of them so if you raise the codes it will not appear for like i have tested it before so it's like for three days at least the codes will not appear here in this tool i have no idea about other tools because i have only this one so the codes will not appear for three days and then the fourth day everything will be back so yeah this is the short review part two with the codes and everything 
so if you want to buy it's your choice if you don't want to buy it's again your choice but it's fine to get the codes but there is nothing much you can do with this tool other than these things so it's your choice if you like it just buy it if you don't like it don't buy it it's a uh, link to purchase will be in the description so you can find it there and otherwise if you like the video just click the thumbs up and if you haven't already done please subscribe to the channel for more videos so i'll take your leave now and i'll see you in the next one bye